of the door to get some. It says closed and sold out. That was my confession for the day. But it is such an honor to be here. I worked uh, really hard when I was in Congress with Marsha Blackburn uh, with uh, Mark uh, Herbert. So this is the award that we have changed for the first time ever. It's always been clear and black because of our special Delta Blues sweetheart. So if the Lieutenant Governor would come over. And we're going to make this presentation to you. It's the most valuable thing to me. To all of you, you probably say, well, why is Barbara Bray so in love with this part of the town, this part of the state, and what have you? I was born in Homa, Louisiana. My dad was a traveling preacher from Mississippi. So you have to get that in his <laughs> <laughs> And I went to Pinebrook, Arkansas, where I lived for many years. My dad had passed a church that was 50 years of one church. 45 another in time of Arkansas. Oh, yeah. So I'm part of you. Then I moved to Chicago, now back in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. So between Bill looking and myself, we ruled it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but I said that because I'm a part of it. Thank you all for letting me be part of this. I don't know what happened, but uh, Bubba, bless your heart, man. Everybody just taking me in. I'm a part of I'm like a piece of furniture. <laughs> I said, you just won't go over it. I want to thank all of you. Everybody had anything to do with that. And Sonny was a part of that. Give him another hand. <laughs> Sonny asked me, said, Bobby Red, why do you keep singing the blues? Because your woman left you. I said, Sonny, yes. You can have the blues when your woman leaves you, but you can have the blues if you stay too long. <laughs> for Sonny.
But uh, I, I've, got to, I've got to tell you this about Bobby Rush. I forgot to tell you about it. You know, he grew up on a farm. On these, you know, where they had to get the water out of the lake. Yeah. I mean, like, really. Remember that? I remember. And so, his father, excuse me, his father was in the mill, and his brother said, I want you to go out to the lake and get a bucket of water. Your dad will be home. He's going to be thirsty. It was hot in the summertime. So, Bobby went down, and, oh my God. He kept running back to his mother's. She says, where's the water, boy? That's right. Yes, sir. I'm scared that alligator, Mom. So you go on down there and get that water. Well, I'm scared of that alligator. You go beat me up. So let me tell you something. That alligator scared you as you is a hip. You said if that alligator scared me as I is a hip, it ain't fit to drink. <laughs> I'm not that.